Hello tech friends. Today another Crash cover tape. This one's from August 1989. Looks like we've got four games on here. Metabolus by Gremlin, non terraqueous by Mastertronic, Mountains of Ket by Incentive. That has got to be a text adventure, hasn't it? And Ultimate Warrior by Airline. But there's actually also another game on here, um, which we'll take a look at as well. So let's have a look at the magazine and get this tape loaded. Okay, let's look at the magazine. Crash, August 1989. There's a scoop review on this one. Buffalo Bill's Wild West Rodeo Show. Showing off the Sinclair Magnum, a light gun. Kind of taken from console games at the time. That one looks a lot like the one that was on the Master System. And we've got a picture of Gilbert the Alien, who was from Motormouth, I think, on Saturday morning TV in the UK for a few years, possibly. Um, what have we got here? Four Summer Thrills Super Cool Games via Spectrum. Exclusively playable demo of Maze Mania. That's the additional game that they didn't mention on the front of the actual cassette. Um, Nick Roberts playing tips, Times of Law, the complete solution. Um, where's my mega game power cassette? Has someone nicked my monthly fix of great games? Better ask my friendly news agent. I think if you're in a news agent, sometimes you might be tempted to nick the CD or the tape that was on the front of one of these magazines. I obviously would never have done such a thing, so I don't even know why you're suggesting it. Okay, let's move on. Adverts, obviously. Uh, more adverts. On the right-hand side, though, is our first page, and Metabolus is here. Look at this beautiful winged um, Adonis. Uh, how much of a softy are you, it says. We don't mean big girl's blouse kind of softy, but do you go all squidgy round the edges at the sight of small, cute, furry creatures? Good! You'll just love Metabolus. Uh, okay. And even if you aren't much of a softy, you'll love Metabolus anyway. It's a cartographer's delight. Well, there are 150 screens which need serious mapping. Sounds more like a nightmare. Someone has quipped as they've written this. So it's kind of like a maze game. Um, you do have something to do. It says here, uh, it's your duty to destroy evil beings. You're obviously not going to get far as a twee bird, so you must find a potion which will restore you to your natural self. Find the wizard who will cure your heart. Weakened by this transformation and then destroy the Kremins. All straightforward, really. Okay, let's get on and give it a go. So in the instructions, it says the controls are QW for left and right, uh, O for up and K to fire. Just imagine that on your keyboard, placing your fingers on there. Um, I press one to start the game with the keyboard. And after a beautiful little animation by Gremlin Graphics there, we can start. Now, I've played this a couple of times, um, and I have not quite understood what I'm supposed to do. Oh, look, here's, here's, is that pills? It mentioned about the heart. I, I mean, I'm glad they're taking heart disease and, uh, you know, heart attacks, that sort of thing, seriously, because um, that's something that afflicts a lot of adults and raising awareness. British Heart Foundation does a good job of that. Um, and uh, obviously backed up by Gremlin Graphics as well. See on the bottom there, we've got the little bird. Um, and if I uh, touch something bad too much... Um, oh, I've got a boomerang. Oh, I should definitely fire that, shouldn't I? Take that. Um, then you can see I'm turning into a skeleton as time goes by, which reminds me a bit of Attic Attack in the way that it showed your health with a turkey joint. Um, I think, and then it kind of worked its way down to the skeletal form, and you can see my heart flashing away there. Um, and, I, you know, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. What's this? Something delicious? Oh, no, I fell all the way down and couldn't control my descent. Then it's going to come up with a message, I think. Well, let's see what it says. Your playing rate is a bit slack. You've just had a heart attack. If you use more of the pills applied, maybe you would not have died. I, I would like that on my gravestone, actually. Um, although it's quite a lot of words, so it'll probably be out of my price range, I suspect. Um, so, yes, as I say, you're exploring, you're going around, you're doing things. Not quite sure exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but if you touch one of those little uh, flashing stars, you'll die instantly. Uh, so, so let's do that for a bit of... Um, oh, there I go. I hit it. And then I fell to the ground before I actually died. Um some pretty aggressive flashing there 
You fail to win the game, and that is quite a shame. Have a few more goes. Uh, you might win once. Who knows? Again, well, I mean, that would probably be better on the grey gravestone, wouldn't it? Okay, let's check out the next game. And that next game is non -Terracuous. What a title! After much argument and consultation with Lloyd Mangrum's long word dictionary, we haven't discovered what the title of this game means, but we've settled on a pronunciation, and that's non -te -us. Got that? Thankfully, non -te is only half as difficult to describe as it is to pronounce. There is a planet, um, and it's ruled by a computer, it's populated by people, um, a the unfriendly computer computer is located in a mountain. It's it's a classic tale, isn't it? Um, someone's decided to build a robot and send it in. I think that's probably us, and we're going to guide the robot past all sorts of lethal obstacles, um, and in order to reach the chamber that houses the computer. And then I presume we're going to destroy it, like um, we should do with any problem. Controls are Q, A, O, P, and space. Let's get going. And what a starting screen we got there. Electro Art and Program Code. Steve N. Curtis. Mark Jacobs. Uh, copyright 1985. Music. Uh, um, offensive. And very loud. Uh, so, keyboard controls. Let's go. Oh, I'm this ball. I'm a yellow ball. I was a bird, and now I'm a ball. I can only be things that begin with the letter B. That's what it seems to be here. So, as you can see, I'm making my way very casually through these sections. I've done them a few times, you know. I have to. I can't look like a complete novice every time I play these games. I've got a weapon. I can shoot it. it looks a bit like the jetpack laser. Got some good animations when things die, and it's got quite a good um, noise that it makes when you hit something as well. It says swap. What does that do? I wonder. Um, not sure. Uh, let's keep moving. Oh, what's this? Is this good? Is this bad? Should I be in here? Have I gone the wrong way? Um, not sure. Let's see if we can just leave this section. Oh, they're back. Um, I'm not sure if I'm getting a score uh, here. It says hammers hit six. Uh, oh, that must be a hammer. Um, and yeah, these things are dying quite nicely. <laughs> As I'm sure lots of people say on the battlefield. Um, got to avoid these uh, these gates, though. I, that's insta death. I can assure you of that. Um, can I just nip through here? And, oh, and now what do we do? I bet, I imagine I'll do if I go through it. Let's find out. Oh, I can't even go through it. Um, and then, there we go. If I hit that little barrier there, I get a message. A photon thruster has touched your robotic seeker, burning out it completely its positronic paths. Um, Hall of Fame, your name. Hey, I made it to the Hall of Fame. W-O-T. Enter. I'm at the top. I got one, what is that? One point? Hey, don't question it. Don't question it. Okay, I think that's uh... <laughs> great. Okay, that was non terracuous. Uh, the next one, uh, well, it wouldn't be a crash cover tape if we didn't have an obscure text adventure to have a look at um, as well. Uh, it says here, dear, oh dear, oh dear, some other magazines just can't stand the pace, can they? They've brought you adventure games on their covers, but their offerings were damp squibs i.e. a firework which has been piddled on. <laughs> These are cheeky magazines. Now, Crash, knowing our readers are well taught in the brain department, thought long and hard on how to bring you the pinnacle of adventuring, and we've come up with a winner, Incentives All-Time Great Ket Trilogy. So this is the first of three games. We've even got a map here, um, which might be useful to try and navigate our way around and then it's got sort of uh, a rough guy to say well you can get sword you can drop sword you can go north say hello count coins <laughs> let's spend some time counting some coins let's fire up mountains of ket uh, i wouldn't say it's um visually blowing me away here at the moment mountains of ket the first of three part series by r a mccormack a i mean i can't be too critical i certainly couldn't do anything like this press any key to continue I've picked the letter J. It says your statistics. You begin the adventure with the following abilities. Prowess, 8. Energy, 20. Luck, 10. Yeah, I think that'd be about right that I've only got 8 in my old prowess bucket. Uh, you may call up your current condition by asking for a stat. 
your prowess is a measurement of your swordsmanship. Yeah, fair enough. Your energy is a measurement of your physical condition. Your luck is self-explanatory. True, it is. Press any key to continue. I think I'll go for P this time. We, we, you and me, are on a road with fields on both sides. Beautiful. To our east is a village and a wood. What shall we do? Okay. Now, let's see if I can use the map. <laughs> Maybe I can figure it out. Right, let's go um, N for north. Uh, we are in a field. The crops here have been harvested. <clears throat> Around us, we can see a long chain. What shall we do? Let's get the train. Get chain, get chain, get chain. Okay, what shall we do? Great, I've got a chain. Um, well, let's go... Can I go north again? Uh, we are in a field. Crops have been harvested. Uh, I, th I think we can do that. So let's just go south. Um, and then east, let's go to the village. We are at a crossroads in the village centre. There are buildings all around. Okay, so if I go north, I think we should go to the posh house. <laughs> oh, no! Not at all. I'm at, Where am I? We're in a small but clean and tidy hardware shop. Around us, we can see a lamp, a sharp axe, um, a vial of potion. Uh, also, here is a man, shopkeeper. We should have a little chat to the shopkeeper. Can I say hello? The man shopkeeper says, I've no time for idle chatter. What should we do? Okay, uh, can I... Well, how many coins have I got? Have I got any coins at all? Let's find out. Count coins. I've got two. By axe. Well, that's two coins. Oh, uh, that's two coins. Uh, I presume, though, that that means I don't have any... Uh, I have to be very careful when I type that word. Um, you're not carrying... You're not carrying them. You're not carrying them. Oh, yeah, that's because, <laughs> of course, I've spent them, haven't I? I just wanted to check. So let's go uh, south there. That was the hardware shop. I think I can see where I am there. Uh, let's go uh, west. Uh, no, actually, if I go west, will I end up? Uh, let's go south to the to, to the plowed field. You hear some. Hmm, you hear someone saying talps. Uh, it says, listen carefully, someone muttering a word. It's the password you'll need later on in the mountains. Talps, okay. We're not going to get that far. Let's go south. Uh, we're amongst some low bushes. To our east is a wood. Let's go east. Um, oh, we can see a big log. Hey, we've got an axe. Use axe. Uh, please be more specific. Use axe on log. Or should I say chop? Uh, cut log. So I just get log. Let's just get the log. Get the log. Okay, we got a log. Log and an axe. Great. Um, so um, I'll just look again. Where, where actually are we? Let's have a look. At Wind is blowing through the trees of the wood. We are now in. <laughs> we are now in. There is a path going east, and the sound of voices comes from the north. Um, east. Okay, I guess we're going east again, aren't we? Let's go. Standing on a riverbank. There is a wood to our west and a small path leads north. Okay, uh, we uh, let's go north. Um, North-south path. Uh, keep going north. I, I, I cannot follow the map now. I'm so, I'm completely lost. Uh, open field. Village lies to our west. Small path. Let's go west. Back to the village. Um, ah, here we are. The lanes we are in in leads east slash west. There is a pot house to the north. Okay, let's do that. Um, also, here is a cartographer. The cartographer says, gosh, it's cold. What shall we do? We probably need to give him the log. Give log to warm him. I don't want that. And that just sums up playing a text adventure once again. So we don't have any images to look at, although we could see some of the, um, the items. Uh, we can go to lots of different places. This particular one, because we've got a bit of a guide, you really could figure it out and get to where you're supposed to go. But a lot of the time you wouldn't have a guide. You wouldn't have a map. You'd have to be drawing out the map yourself. Um, so if I type in um, uh, help, would that have told us anything? Don't just kill everyone. And you know what? That's what I'm getting on the gravestone. Okay, right. Let's try the next game. And that next game is Ultimate Warrior. Look at this. I mean, a lot of effort went into drawing these um, 
beautiful images in the magazine. So, Ultimate Warrior, a, a, a crash original game. 3D is a fabulous medium, isn't it? Live the experience. It's just like being there, almost. And to prove the point, a super chap called Stephen Howlett has written Ultimate Warrior for Crash. Hurrah! Give that man a clap. Bracket. Lots of applause. Mm. Uh, become the Ultimate Warrior fighting for truth, freedom and blowing up computers. All will be revealed. Long old story here. Um, you've got to go around shooting some stuff. I, uh, well, I struggled when I played this the last time, so I think we can probably look forward to, str <laughs> to struggling a second time as well. But it's got a bit of a cool isometric look. Let's take a look. Here we go. Ultimate Warrior. Cursor keys. Run. 1989 Airline Software. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can control this. Yes. Okay. We got tank controls. So I'm pressing up. That's making us go forward. And then we're sort of rotating. Bit of Resident Evil... Oh, it's just like Resident Evil, isn't it? it? It jolly well looks like it. If I press down, it fires. He seems quite happy about that. Okay, let, where shall we go? Through this door? Oh, red. Um, and there were quite a few of these games that were sort of making... Almost sort of... I mean, they say 3D. Uh, it's sort of 3D aspect. Oh, a bit hard to control this little fella. Come on. Okay, let's... Oh, and then look at this slowdown. Oh, that is, that's bad news, isn't it? What? They're all, they're attacking me. Okay, I guess I'm, okay. Fine, I won't be going through that door. And then look how much it speeds up again. So that's obviously shifting lots of pixels around on the screen all, all in one go. Um, but as soon as you start putting, uh, you start, as soon as you start removing stuff, it runs like a dream. Ooh, look how slowly I'm... It's like I'm wading through treacle. I mean, it looks cool. Let's just try and get through a door and hopefully things will speed up again. Oh, yeah, look, there's a platform. But why Why is it Why is it that the platform wants to, I presume, kill me? Oh. It, there's another platform. Why is this game just obsessed with <laughs> trapping me? Ah, this is like a patio layers nightmare. Um, well, anyway, can I shoot it? Can I? Can I? No. Will I just get stuck? Actually, this looks like a Tetris piece. Anyway, so that is Ultimate Warrior. I think you'll agree that's probably not the uh, best game on this tape so far. Um, but luckily for you, I've saved the best for last. And last is this exclusive Crash playable demo, Maze Mania from Houston. He's a bomb pot, a loon and completely crackers to boot. He's Flippo, the nutty, rotund star of Houston's new game, Maze Mania. Say hello to the viewers, Flippo. Yibble, yibble, hip. I don't know what they're... They've gone crazy with this. Um, this is a maze game. You go around, you flip over tiles, you have to flip over all the tiles in a level, and then you can complete the level. So I guess kind of like Pac-Man, also very much like a game called Slider, which was on the Game Gear, if anyone remembers that. Right, let's give it a go. Okay, here we go. This is Maze Mania. Definitely the best one that's on here. Uh, Crash Special. Kempston Sinclair. Keyboard. Redefine. Let's press 3 for keyboard. I know what the controls are. They are Q and Z for up and down. I and P for left and right. It's a finger stretcher. That's how I describe this. And then we just go over these tiles and we start colouring them in. In this rather beautiful cyan colour. And sometimes they, they go magenta and those ones can be changed back. So you can see why I thought this was a bit like Pac-Man or indeed that Sliders game. Um, that one, there we go. He's flipped over. Sometimes they don't always go for some reason. I can jump as well in case I need to avoid an enemy um, or jump over a gap. And I think this one is very cool. Um, this has definitely got a sort of arcadey feel. It's easy to understand, you know, all the things that make a game great. Honestly, I could play this one all day. This one is fantastic. Oh, there we go. I think I've done it. I don't know what that means. I think I need to find the exit. I think that's what it's... Oh, yeah, it's making the noise to basically say I've done it. And there it is. I think. Is it? Game over. Now, I think that's the end of the demo. 
So I think we can say, um, with a bit of pride, that I've completed a demo. Um, didn't take too long, only took about four or five tapes. There we go, that's our last game that we've got on the tape. That would have kept you entertained for some time, especially for, uh, you know, until the next month when the next Crash Magazine came out. Or maybe one of its competitors, your Sinclair perhaps. Um, well, I've got loads more of these tapes, so we'll try another one again soon. Thanks for watching.